Greetings, greetings, all my dreamers and dreamettes. It's your boy Mickey Fenty, aka Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you know what to do to this channel. Subscribe right now. Also, if you want to support the brand, it's inspired by dreams. Dot shop. We got everything from snapbacks, hoodies, anything you want to get your drip on, dressing outside the box, we got you. Okay, today's episode, this is really crazy. Now, you know why I always tell you guys the scammers are scamming, but in this case, this is something that's going to blow your mind. And some people might have went through this. You guys let me know. Scamming pregnancies. Let's get it. Let me tell you about this rabbit hole I'm in right now. Girls faking pregnancies to then acquire registry items and then resell them to make a profit. As someone who is what? actually pregnant, like 32 weeks pregnant, I had the option to have gifts sent to the house and then people are bringing gifts to the shower as well. I can see them on my end, who's purchasing what. I'm so, so, so grateful that people are all stepping up and purchasing these items for us. And there are women out there faking pregnancies, faking to their friends, to their family, their coworkers, having multiple baby showers, making multiple registries with multiple different companies. And then something happens to the babies. And then they put all of this stuff on marketplace and they make money from it. It's genius if you ask me, but like, what the so the most recent one was from this girl named Ashley Bishop. I cannot find her Facebook profile anywhere, but there is a group that is like chatting about this girl constantly, right? Her, and her husband, like Jose or something like that. They were expecting twins and she put an ultrasound. We're expecting twins. We're so excited. Blah, 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 blah. They have three separate baby showers, one for her work, one for his work, and then friends and family combined. And they're twins, so they are just raking in all of this stuff, right? Again, she has ultrasound pictures. She's posting them on Facebook. She has a private group. She's registered on multiple things, so she's getting double car seats, jogger strollers, the double the amount of you know accessories and everything that people need for newborns. So then at 35 weeks, she posts on Facebook that her water broke, but the doctor wanted to keep the babies in for just a little bit longer. That's like not a thing. Once your water breaks, that's it. Let's get the show on the road. So then two weeks later, she posts on her Facebook that they had lost the babies. They're so devastated during this trying time. Keep us in your thoughts and prayers, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, they've already had all these baby showers. They have all this baby stuff. They're thank you, thank you, thank you, all the things. Couple weeks later, she posts and says, we will probably never be blessed with twins again. We are putting up all of the items from our registry since we have no use for them. And starts racking up the price on Marketplace. I don't know how she got sussed out, but basically there was a person who found the ultrasound photo that she used. It was on Google. Like if you Google twin ultrasounds, that was the one that she was posting constantly. And that's how this girl was exposed. So then the families are upset. All the coworkers are upset, like trying to get a hold of this girl. Like they want Amazon refunds. They want Target refunds, Walmart refunds, all the things because they just got scammed by their friend. Like I said, there's like a Facebook group that's like trying to track down this girl and all these women just like keep commenting through. So then I went and found the Facebook group. At first, I can't find it anymore. I think it was taken down, but like trying to find all of the receipts from all of the things. I'm like, dude, I cannot imagine like scamming all of these people, especially people that I actually knew, you know? Okay, before we go any further, I just want to let you know, man, the scam is a scamming, but to scam for a pregnancy, you're, all at, you're at an all time low. And I want to let you guys know before we go any further, stay till the end. I have a surprise story at the end. It's going to be crazy. All right, let's go. Come on. With that little bunny outside. Oh my God. So someone who is actually pregnant, 32 weeks pregnant, my shower is in two weeks. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the gifts and all the things and really just setting us up for success. I would never scam anyone like that. Like that is like just below the belt, literally. All right, so those of you who are in Tennessee, guess what? House Bill 2689 is getting ready to pass. That is requiring paternity tests before you sign the birth certificate. Um, because, you know, once when people do paternity tests one-third of the time, they end up not being the father, and if they start testing everybody, that number can only go up, not down. Um, it's 
it's it's going to be dramatic. And right now they're they're starting to also add in things like you know um, maternity fraud is a crime and a punishable crime. So uh, guys used to go to jail for not paying child support on a child that wasn't theirs because the state wants to get their money because if there is no father to pay for the child support, somebody has to pay for it. So they push it onto the nearest person that could be a father figure. And they're actually starting to jail time the ladies for maternity fraud because it is such a rampant crime. And yes, it's a crime. This is part two of the girl lying about being pregnant. That's the baby picture she used to show everybody on Instagram. As you can see, it is a fake picture. It's a fake baby picture. Look, it's on Google. Weird looking baby photos. She used a fake picture and printed it and put it in a frame and told everybody that that was her baby ultrasound. People keep asking, how come nobody knew she was pregnant? Because she used this. She put this on under her shirt and act like she was pregnant. I don't know how the boyfriend didn't notice that that was fake because they got to go to bed together. So how did he not notice that was fake? She told everybody that she was pregnant and that she wanted gifts, money for the baby. She told the boyfriend that she was pregnant and he believed her, he loved her, he stayed with her. When people tried to confront her about it, she told them to stop calling her phone. What do they buy those things on Amazon? If this is not weird, this is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Lying about being pregnant, that's weird. I feel so bad for the guy. Like, I'll be so hurt if a girl lied to me about that. Like, that's not even nothing to joke around with, man. That's my... Story time. So, y'all gonna have to tell me what the fuck is really going on. Literally, I've been talking to my friend every day for about a month, right? We had stopped talking because she lied to me and said she was going to come to my birthday party, but she didn't, so I deleted her because I literally was talking to her all the way up until she supposed to pull up in front of the door of the party. She ain't never come. So, and the way she lied to me, it was like, yeah, I'm outside type of shit, this type of lie. And I know I'm not going to make it, none of that. Just all the way up into the fucking front door that you're on your way to this party. So I ended up deleting her and not talking to her no more. And I let some months pass, guys. About seven, eight months pass. And I look on Facebook and I see that she's having a baby. So I'm, oh, this little bitty, sh that shit wasn't big enough for me not to talk to my friend. This is my friend, childhood friend. So I'm going to call her and see if she, is you really having a baby? Because, you know, some people like to fake their fucking pregnancy. And I'm not going to say who. Anyways, so I call her like hey, everything, all bullshit aside, like I'm your friend for real. You don't have no baby without your friend. Like you literally was finna have a baby without me. Like no, G, you don't do that. So we talking every day up until this Tuesday. She's supposed to be going to have a baby. So I'm I'm watching her. Um. Stories on Facebook. She in the hospital. They telling her her baby head is down. Everything. Just everything. I just want to make sure y'all know that I'm 40 years old and she's 43. So anyway, I'm 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 excited because Tuesday she's going to have her baby. So on Tuesday. I'm pregnant and I don't know if the baby belongs to my husband or his best friend. What? So I've been married for six years to my husband. I met my husband at a party. In that same party, I also met my husband's best friend. So my husband's best friend was the one that initially started talking to me and we became good friends. Okay, before we go any further, I just want to ask you guys, did she scam him or this, this can happen to anybody and she just fell into this whirlwind of having sex with two guys? You guys let me know in the comment section. Let's call the best friend Jose. Me and him got along really, really well, and so about a month later, he calls me up, and he's like, Hey, I'm about to have a party at my house. Do you want to come? So I was like, Yeah, I'm going to go through. So pretty much at the party, um, that's when me and my husband actually started to talk more. And at the end of the night, he offered me a ride home, and I was like, Sure. And I'm not going to lie. At first, I was really feeling Jose, but then when I met my husband and started talking to him, well, my feelings just shifted. Couple months later, he asked me to be his girlfriend. I said yes. And then about a year later, he proposed to me and then we ended up getting married. 
Now, my husband works out of town, so he is only home about five days in one month. When he's home, his best friend always comes around. His best friend, Jose, is now married and he comes around with his wife. One night, they were over and we were all drinking. We were eating dinner. Till this day, I'm a lightweight. When they leave, my husband then tells me that he felt that I was flirting with Jose and he asked me if I liked him. Now, I was tipsy, but I was like, no, I don't fucking like him. Like, that's crazy, right? My husband proceeds to say that he wouldn't even be mad like that if I try to get with Jose. He told me I should try to hook up with him. He told me he felt really, really bad because he was always working out of town, so we never really had a lot of time, me and him, and so I was always lonely and that I should get what I need from another man. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I, I went to sleep and I stayed with that thought in my head. I didn't bring anything up anymore. He ends up leaving back to work. And then, the next time he came over, of course, Jose came over. But this time, Jose came by himself. He didn't come with his wife. He said his wife was with her mom. And my husband gets a call, and it's from his mom. She needs him to go over there because she needs help with something. He said, I'm going to be right back. He leaves Jose in the house with me. Jose starts offering me beers because we were already drinking. So, I was like, alright, whatever, I'll get a beer. Me and him started talking and you know, we had a lot of things in common. We were remembering things from the past and we were laughing. He kept offering more drinks. When we were talking, Jose ends up telling me that he was in love with me since the first time he saw me, but he backed off when he saw me more interested in his friend. And when he's telling me this, he's getting closer to me and he kisses me. I don't know how to explain it, but one thing led to another, literally, and we ended up getting intimate on the couch bitch on the couch i felt horrible afterwards i told him he should leave and he did leave and he was like let's just not say nothing about this to no one and i was like yes when he left i did feel like i had some repressed feelings for him and i kept thinking about it that whole entire night next day he texts me and he's like hey can you meet me at this place i need to talk to you about what happened yesterday i agree and I get in his truck and one thing led to another and we ended up doing it again. After this time, we were like, no, yeah, this got to stop. Like, I don't know. This is bad. This, this shouldn't be happening. Three days later, my husband leaves. Throughout these three days, we did it a couple of times. Two months go by and I don't get my period. I take a pregnancy test and it's fucking positive. Now I don't know what to do because I don't know whose baby this is and I don't even know if I should say anything to my husband. And I feel horrible and I feel guilty. But he's the one that kept pushing me and he's the one that told me that I should get with Jose. And what did I do? I got with Jose. At this point, if I say something, it's going to ruin Jose's marriage and my marriage. So I'm thinking I should just not say anything at all and just make my husband think it's his baby. It was his fault for pushing me to go with Jose. I am very lost, so if you guys have any advice for me, please leave it down in the comments. What? All I can say, man, if you're scamming people, you know, acting like you're pregnant to collect money, or even acting like you're pregnant to collect gifts to sell them online, it's just doing too much in this whole scamming, man. Just don't stop the scamming and just do what you gotta do and do it the right way, the best way to go. And if you guys have any comments or anything you want to say on any of these situations, leave them down below. You know, I'll get back to you guys live on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. You know, my 9 a.m. morning show. So you guys tune in, and we got a lot more to go for the week. Enjoy your week. Let's get these energy, this energy, good energy going, and we out of here. Till next time, it's your boy Mickey Fenty, a.k.a. Mickey Made It. If you're new to this channel, you ought to do to this channel. Subscribe.